I want to eat everything that's on the screen. But it's that's butter it's bricks. And I want but to eat it. It's butter bricks. Yum. Oh, they're butter bricks. They're butterscotch bricks. Ooh. Could also be cheese bricks. That's true. Yeah. Cheese. They're like cheese it's. Cheese. Oh, yikes. Thank you. I want some more cheese it's with butterscotch. <laughs> uh, no way, that sounds disgusting. Oh dear. Oh dear, I owe me. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I was thinking that, uh, like, either the kid's hugging him and he's, like, all angry about it, or it's, like, the one time he's, like, must not show I like this. <laughs> like, or he's, or he's, he's, like, happy about it, but he refuses to show it. Or he's shedding tears because this is the first time he's been hugged in forever. It's, it's, oh. it's like the or, bit... or he's crying because he knows he has to kill them in a minute for a <laughs> sacrifice. I was like, no, it's, it's like the bit from Wonder Shows. And, Can I hug you? Okay, but I don't want to look. I don't want to feel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... That's not compute. <laughs> I, I feel like... <laughs> Bex has, you know, Bex has kind of written my law. Um, yes. But the thing is, I think it's kind of established that a part of me is actually ha has the personality of Plankton from SpongeBob. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. You know, the whole Bob. megalomaniac thing. Or Get me the Krabby Patty Spongebob. secret formula. Especially... Get me the Krabby Patty secret formula. Especially... And a better voice actor. Especially, especially the whole reacting to... Kindness and harmony yes. and other stuff. <laughs> Butterfly kisses, too cute. <laughs> yeah, That's another crabs. voice I used to. Yes, you crabs. I used to do plankton <laughs> a lot better. I can't do it as well. And now my my voice has been so raspy lately. I'm kind of afraid I'm losing my range. <laughs> I just I hope so because like it's hard for me to do certain voices for sales for noobs now. <laughs> I can't do Chet very well at all right now. Phil, on the other hand, is really easy. I think you do just whiny. fine. And if you and if you have to resort to a female actress, well, you know where to look. <laughs> so what's <laughs> that, that sounds Chet, like female Chet's Sonic? Just gonna get a sex change operation to make up for it. He hit puberty once again, <laughs> <laughs> and his voice got higher instead of lower. Sure. Why does that? He look... will bury you, Joe. Wait, why, why does that sound? He will like... bury. Why does that sound like female Sonic? I That's not don't meant know. to be Why does it sound like that? I... <laughs> this is meant to be Sonic. <laughs> oh, you're <blind>. you're... <laughs> my name is Sonic. Your, your Sonic has like, this voice annoying nervous my life. laugh all the time. <laughs> yep. He it's been, like so unlike him. <laughs> So, is, is Jazz I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, and in Sonic Frontiers, all my friends have depression. I mean, I tell them to get over it. I don't think that they have depression. They are more like they don't exist, really. They exist no, like in the halfway. Games, in Sonic Frontiers, what do you say? It's like they all like act depressed in that game. Is what she said. No, they, they sounds like there. she's 40 years old. They, they aren't actually there. They are like, like you know, not actually like in that reality. And no, stuff. No, they're, right. no, they're there. They're, gl they're glitchy. Well, no, like but they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're, I mean, it's complicated. It's weird. It's yeah. really like between, wobbly timey wimey stuff is wrong, like, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like between realities or something. Yeah. Like. yeah. But nonetheless, it's a very angsty game. Also, there's this weird child that goes... Yeah. Shoo. I'm not Shoo. fond of... I'm not Shoo. fond of... Robotnik... Oh, oh my gosh! That's new. I want it! understand! But no, I'm, I'm not fond understand. of... Goth Robotnik baby. It's just, uh, it's not my thing. You it's it's a little bit, it's a little bit, um, Papa don't like you. um, confuzzling. Do we make those? Because with the way Matt sees it, uh -huh. he feels that, um, with giving, um, like giving, uh, Eggman a child character or some kind of character it that, kind of, kind of that, that, character yeah, it's like, it's giving him a character that he is meant to you. show now, now compassion I this, to. Now I, just, kind now, I of... this, now I just have this mental image of the like this this uh, physical phys this, this this physical realization of a meme, uh -huh. which is basically the the whole um, you know the whole I don't know where it came from, but it's a character holding something and going, uh -huh. "Wow, this is useless." Oh yeah. Oh, that's gravity, gravity falls. falls. More than it's less than worthless, my boy. It's less. Oh, you said it better. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really funny joke. 
Here, Matthew, please, no, but please it's, explain it's just... your thoughts on... That's um... exactly how I feel about Sage, though. This is worthless. It's less than worthless, my boy. Okay, so... It's just, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, Eggman, it, like, he's, he's in the room with the riders, and the riders are like, okay, so here's what we've laid out for you. They give him... I'm sorry, they give him the, 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 the demon child, mm -hmm. and he's like, Wow! This is useless! <laughs> It's like that, the, the Goobus Doobus cartoon. I am not a freaking father. I I like I like Sage's design and stuff, mm -hmm. but I think the character is um, misplaced. Well, okay, so you, you asked me to explain my thoughts on it. So here's my yes, here's, okay. You guys have been hyper fixating. Now it's my turn. Okay, uh -oh. so okay, sit, so here's my sit thoughts. Back, on that. Sit back, relax, yeah. grab a cup of coffee, and get Time. some popcorn. Time for Fractious oh, Lemon to dork out about video sure, games honey. and cartoons Here's again. Here's the microphone. So, um, you, you, you gotta add a jingle for, for the segment for of the video. Part. I gotta have, yeah, I gotta have like a new jingle. What, what's, what's the jingle for when Fractious <laughs> Lemon geeks out about? It's that time to talk. <laughs> Lemons geeking, that's not very like. That's not very likely of them. Time lemons don't some geek. Lemon in your eyes. <laughs> don't geek. Anyway, okay, so, um... Show. <laughs> so, okay, so... Zesty stories! Zesty stories with... Okay, I think I said a few guys. Zesty stories. You want it beautifully. <laughs> I feel like I need, like, a, um... I need a jingle like, um, Carl Pilkington's... Woo! Fancy that! Monkey news! <laughs> or chimpanzee that, sorry. I was dying! Fractious lemon is in my eyeballs! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, okay, so, um... <laughs> It's like, you try to keep this short, and then, like, you guys drag it on with a goofy thing there. No, um, so, in Sam, general... Sam, said dragon. <laughs> dragon. Oh my God. In general, um, I think the Sonic series works best when it's a mix of silly and serious. Like, if you get too serious with a Sonic story, you can't really believe it. <laughs> oh, six. Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> yeah. You've got to acknowledge that, yes, this is a silly world. It's very cartoony. You've got humans and anthropomorphic animal creatures. And, like, it's, just, it's very wacky. It's very silly. So the characters have to be kind of cartoonish in their own right. They've got to be able to laugh off, like, dangerous situations as part of their comedy. In fact, that's that's part of what makes Sonic so appealing, is he just seems to shrug off danger. Um, speaking of speaking of 06... Uh... Not he, 06, Sonic no, Frontier. No, he was, because yeah, he mentioned 06, so I said that some games speaking, don't work oh, when they could have gotten serious. Yeah. Speaking of 06, um, here you see uh, Matt trying to knock some sense into the into the riders of the uh -huh. of Sonic team. It's no use! <laughs> it's no use! Um, so yeah, my thought is that, uh, again, Sonic works best, like, you can give him a darker story, but make sure you throw in some comedy. I, I think the IDW comics have been doing a very good job with it. But um, as far as the games go, I think, like, the Sonic Adventure games, like, that's about as dark as I'd want Sonic to get. Like, it's... You've got the whole, like, thing, oh, Shadow's a genetic experiment and stuff, but it's kind of silly. It's it's kind of winking at you about how goofy it is. Um, Sonic Frontiers... Sonic Frontiers is like, uh, it's, we're so depressed and edgy and angsty and... Oh, I should show the or whatever. But, you know, also, uh, also we're so miserable... With, with Definitely, definitely, definitely not Breath of the Wild, but we'll just Breath of the Wild. Yeah, well, that too. I just there's okay. That's as far as gameplay is concerned. I think Sonic works best with like tightly made levels. I I've, I've never been the guy who goes Sonic is all about speed. Like no, there's plenty of times where you're not going fast. Sonic is more reflexes. It's it's being it's being fast with responding to what's coming at you. I'm sorry that and I so keep for... interrupting you. Uh -huh. I, I will do it again. Um, okay. I I understood. Sonic's all about refluxes, and I was like, ew. <laughs> <That's laughs> <a reflux. laughs> um, but no, I feel like the Sonic Sonic Gotta gameplay. Fast. Sonic gameplay is about being being quick on your toes, more so being responding to things quickly rather than being in constant motion. And um, for me, an open world doesn't work well for that because you need tightly made levels. Open world games are like wander around, take your own, you know, go at your own speed and everything. And it doesn't work well, I think, for the Sonic style of gameplay. Um, so as far as that goes, it doesn't appeal to me. And again, it's like it's just Breath of the Wild, but with Sonic. Um, but as far as like the theming, again, it's like that, oh, the characters are questioning their purpose in life throughout the whole game. And I'm like, it's just not Sonic to me. 
Uh, but especially, okay, so the, at the core of it, I'm talking about like why I don't like Sage and stuff. One of the things that I've always loved about the Sonic series, even as a kid I picked up on this, and it's why I, why I enjoyed it and thought it was fun, um, is that Sonic and Robotnik have this funny kind of, um, they've got like a, a Peter Pan and Captain Hook thing going on. Like, Sonic embodies, like, youthful energy and a kind of a reckless attitude and stuff. Eggman is, as as the, the art director of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog put it, Eggman is the mean old adult you hated as a child. He's grouchy, he's grumpy, he doesn't like anyone, he wants everything his way, and in a funny way, they also can contrast each other in that, like, he kind of represents this grumpy old man attitude, but Sonic, in a lot of ways, is more emotionally mature. Like, he understands when people need, like, encouragement. He understands what to say in difficult situations. Sonic may not be a quick thinker all the time, but he knows how to respond to people in need. He's a very compassionate person. Robotnik, on the other hand, is like a spoiled child. He throws temper tantrums, he wants things his way all the time. And so it's this funny contrast of the characters that, in a, w a lot of ways, he's more a child than Sonic is. Um, and a lot of humor in, like, the, like, the way Robotnik is with his robots a lot of times is you've got, like, this weird parent-child dynamic sometimes, but it's kind of, like, in the air of, like, this child, like, playing with their toys and then getting mad that things don't go their way at yelling at the toys. <laughs> um, and you can't really feel too bad for the robots because they're always very much, well, they're machines. Like, yeah, they have feelings, but it's played for laughs it's too silly for you to take seriously but when you bring in a character that is for all intents and purposes human and a child it gets really awkward because you can't have Eggman you can't have Eggman yell at Sage and slap her around and just be like verbally and physically abusive like he is to Orbot and Cubot or Scratch and Grounder because it's uncomfortable it's too real um <laughs> Mean, and, and then meanwhile, you can't have Eggman act like this loving, doting father to Sage because it removes the element that this guy is a selfish, spoiled brat. Like, suddenly he has to, you know, man up and be mature in some ways and try to be responsible. And it takes away the things that, the part of the things that make him an interesting and comical and sometimes even frightening character because of just his sheer selfishness and everything and so i just i don't like sage for those reasons most very short i think it's an unnecessary uh, an unnecessary character that throws off the dynamic of the character you know what kind of broke the camel's back for me when it comes to sonic frontiers mm -hmm. or what, what what was the deal breaker for me um and correct me if i'm wrong um whenever we saw eggman control any of his inventions he always used mm -hmm. like a bracelet or something on his arm yeah since when but now the buttons on the his coat are suddenly actual are buttons. buttons on his chest yeah. actual buttons yeah his his weird like uh his weird like uh dictator coat or whatever has actual but but you know i will buy that that's the case like it's like to me i laugh it off because like yeah that's kind of sonic silliness I like i'm it's going right through my eyes yeah like i'm, I'm actually <laughs> fine with that because it seems like something silly that he would have you just that's like press the button works. on his coat is an actual button mm -hmm. yeah so I'm I'm cool with that. That's he, fine. He's got his tricks. Yeah, I was yeah. I was trying to, I was trying to be and the comic on his relief. Sleeve, apparently, I was trying to be the comic relief and failing. So I'm well, you failed. <laughs> no, no, I think I think it was great. I think the 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 last thing essentially that kind of like I just don't like about Sage and uh, Jazz. I were talking about this earlier. Is I just don't like the modern world's unsettling obsession with the little goth girl. Like, it just kind of creeps me out. Like, people like the whole little goth girl trope in a way that they shouldn't, if you know what I mean. And it just, I That's, don't I'll, like I'll it. I'll be honest it, with you. It, it, it gets a little bit odd. It gets a little bit yeah. odd after a while. It's yeah. it's very unnerving. It's one of the, re like, for instance, I don't like, and this, here's another weird little tangent, but like, I don't like the way that they turned, like, you know... <laughs> Wednesday Adams into like the sexy edgy teenager when in the original series she's well like the rest of the Adams family in that she's this this hilariously weird person um and in fact a lot of the humor in the original Adams family she's kind of got the same attitude as Gomez 
and that she's just very happy and joyful about the creepiest things. <laughs> And, like, it just, it kind of creeps well, me out. Well, that makes sense. Like, like, you look at that and you're like, oh, yep, that's definitely his kid. Yeah. Exactly. And, oh, darn it. It just, it's always weird to me, when, especially when they try to make Wednesday, like, I'm so evil and I'll kill you. Because that's not the Adams family. Like, no. they're supposed to be, the whole humor is that they're nice people. Like, they're the nicest people you'll ever meet. They're just oh. creepy as all get out. <laughs> Did you guys? Cookie, did, yeah. did you guys hear that? The whole thing that apparently the 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 whole thing uh, was about Jenna Ortega basically being to everybody on set. I no, I I haven't heard. If you're talking about like the Wednesday Adams show, I have no idea. I, I haven't watched it. I just yeah, apparently I know she... that it just goes along more with the whole we've got a thing for Wednesday and it just creeps me out. No, uh... apparently she's she's not been a nice person to them uh... or to people on set and. Oh my god, I think the subway surfer guy just died. Oh no. Wait, oh no. what? Is he okay? Wait, wait, who just died? What? I just realized oh. I, I, I uh, referenced an incredibly obscure meme. Oh. <laughs> uh, nobody's gonna, gonna get that. We all thought, we all gonna, thought like you were watching ways, someone out the window. We're like, this guy just died. We're like, oh my gosh. Make Welcome to a very special episode. Like Welcome Jeez. to a very ep special episode of Place Talkers. I legit <laughs> thought we were gonna have to cut it out. Let me let part. me find it and uh, let me find it. And maybe maybe we can actually. Clear I have it, it on so. my phone. Okay, oh. it's a race to see who can post it first. <laughs> uh, what? Sure. I don't have that. F mm, fudge. You know, it's, <laughs> it's funny since we were discussing the thing while he's looking for that. It's funny we were discussing the Adams family. Um, and how we're like, yeah, they're supposed to be nice people. They're just weird and everything. Um, that's another kind of funny story Sorry. with oh, um, with uh, my my ex wife is that she had only known about the Adams family through the movies from the nineteen nineties, and I'd always said I didn't like those movies, and she was really surprised. She's like, "You have a dark sense of humor." I was like, "Yeah, but it's not the right kind of dark sense of humor." And I would explain like, "No, the Adams family are supposed to be more like." friendly and everything and she's like well they are but they're evil it's like no but they're not evil that's the whole point it's like it's like taking um the characters of halloween town yeah it's exactly it's like it's like in uh the nightmare before christmas they're not yes. evil they just like being scary exactly um, but uh we we looked up the old uh television show because she had never seen it before i looked it up and i was like i'm in the mood to watch it it was it was on netflix wherever and we showed it, I showed it to her, and she was like, oh, well, no wonder you don't like the, the movies. Like, this is really different. Like, yeah, they're like, they're very, it's, this is all obviously a joke kind of thing. Like, they're all really goofy, and the dangerous stuff they do is played so cartoonish, you can't take it seriously. Like, yeah, that's, they kind of live in this cartoon reality, and you get this weird kind of idea that the Adams family may not be human. <laughs> they're like something else, you know? And she was like, okay, well, I see your idea. Like, I get it. Okay. She's like, well, tell you what, now we're going to watch the movies. You need to give them a, a fair shot and see what you think about it. I said, okay, I'll, I'll see and I'll give it a fair shot. We started watching. We got about maybe eight minutes in. I don't remember how far we got in. About eight minutes in or so. And she goes, I don't like this version of the Adams Family. Can we go back to watching the show? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it was so funny. And she was just like, now that I've seen the originals, yeah, you're right. This version is just uncomfortably creepy. <laughs> like, oh like, I get the idea they really do want to hurt people, but I don't like that. Crafty gets right. Okay, you oh. found it. <laughs> I win. Crafty's <laughs> back. I like. I I want to look at these different videos and links that you guys keep sending me, uh -huh. but. But I also don't want to, like, get too distracted because Matt's playing the game. <laughs> oh, that's oh fine. I mean, the whole thing with this thing is it's, it, it, we're all having goofy conversations. The, the game is more often just the background noise. Yeah, unless it's something like Murder of Sonic where we're all, like, doing voices and stuff for it. To be yeah, paying more attention. Yeah. Yes. It's midnight. <laughs> It is midnight. Tell you what, we're gonna finish this level, and then we're gonna we're gonna call it a night. Yeah, because we have. Oh, that's perfect. Because I just. <laughs> oh. Wait, what's happening tonight? Sir? What? Uh, I, we've got to just... we've got to go out to the social security yes. office tomorrow. Yes, Sam. Right? Ah. Stuff, yeah. Did you did you have to shoot poopies? Huh? Sorry. Did you have to shoot poopies, Sam? Paul, no, don't... but I've got I've 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 been working on something while we've been talking, and I. 
Of course what? you have. I, of course you I have. Was gonna, look, That's I was all gonna... Sam does. He's like, ha ha, everyone's talking. She's just sitting there just giggling and drawing stuff. The thing is, I was gonna, I was gonna bring it to... You gotta admit. It, I was oh, it's gonna, fine. I'm... Hang on. I was gonna bring it to, to our attention that she always has clips to your paint open whenever we're, <laughs> we're, we're, um, we're doing these. She's so, drawing yeah. unflattering images of everyone. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that, actually. That, that's her job. She, she's our um, official... I'm the whimsy lever and I create chaos, but like, happy chaos. Yeah. 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 Uh, are yeah. two sides of the well, same Well, again, like the Adams he's Family, like, it's chaos, but it's happy chaos. He's just like chaos. unhinged chaos, I'm like wholesome mm -hmm. chaos. Yeah, like Aww. I said, it's like the Adams Family, it's wholesome chaos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like wait, this. Sam's our official artist of the, mm -hmm. of the Play Stalkers channel. Mm -hmm. I think we're, but we're, just about all of us are artists. We're all like, artists. I'll, I'll say half of us, I'll say half of us. But, uh, like me and, and Jazz and Bex and Chris and, and, uh, Sam, like all of us are artists. Russell technically is, I mean, he, he does the photo comics. Mm -hmm. He, he talks about he's not an artist, but, like, he has a very good understanding but, of, it's all of, like, but of so framing far, but, and stuff. But, like, he's but, very good at it. But so far, Sam's been the only one that actually did fan art. Well, yeah, but that's... That's only because she wasn't a member of the cast at the time that she had done it. I got abducted into the cast. no longer fan art because something. now she's a cast member. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> You're part of her crew. Yeah. Yeah, just we, like we Disney gave you the We gave you the whole <laughs> one of us Google Gobble thing. It was, you know. <laughs> one of us, one of us, Google Gobble. Don't watch that episode one if you haven't us. seen that one. <laughs> uh, which episode? Did we actually do that in the episode? <laughs> Yeah, we I did. assume you did. I, yeah, I know we, we have with most members of the group, of us, but I don't know. Yeah. No, I some, of you, went, some of them we did I out think, of the episode. So. I think you did it with me when I re when I met when I managed to pronounce Pico Pico Emma right. Yes, yeah, yeah. we did. We congratulated you because uh, Matthew, he said you you actually knew enough about Sonic to make a Pico Pico Hammer joke. Matthew, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you just fart? I did, and it was mighty. <laughs> Because I have the headphones on, and I can <laughs> feel and hear the rumble through <laughs> the couch cushions. To quote, that was uh, a mighty fart indeed. To quote my old, my good old friend Brent Terry, did you fart? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, absolutely, and I'll do it again. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll do it again. Oh, oh god. Again. For those who okay, know that reference, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt, you know what you should do? Like, be hard on their faces. <laughs> you know what you should do? Yeah. So, so basically, because there will probably be someone that swore in the... In, in, in the uh... Oh, there were many people who swore during this yeah. episode. And one of the, you one of the, mainly. And you make one of these swears, you make a fart noise. So it yeah. gets more funny when all of a sudden Jazz is like, <laughs> Wait, huh? <laughs> Was that real? <laughs> Every single time there's a swear, it's, uh... it's just that it gets consecutively <coughs> more and more wet farts. Oh, God. <laughs> well, folks, no, but the, like, uh... look, the, the, the joke is basically <laughs> you keep making like these weird, um, obviously cartoony fart noises for, yeah. for the censoring sounds, mm -hmm. but then one of them isn't a, isn't a fake one. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! That's when Jess goes, WAIT A MINUTE! <laughs> Wait a gosh darn second! This reminds me of how in one of the uh, South Park bowels? games, the Fratchet mm -hmm. Foothold, they actually made a uh, thing for people who were playtesting the game called smell a vision Yes! <laughs> they put smell, smell a vision into a South Park game. Yes. Oh, well guys, no. I think that wraps it up for this I episode. Like you finished that. the level, we need to get some sleep. Hold on, but, hold on. Uh, I want to show. I want. I want to show you guys this right, right, real quick. Right, no, real. Quick. Okay. Okay. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? So, <laughs> hold on. Uh -oh. Where is what? where is the thing? Where is? Here we go. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head out. I will see y'all later. All right. Take care, my friend. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Let Let me know when it's up there. Oh, you got on your stream. You got on your stream. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Is that hold on? I love it. Wait. It's not done yet, but it's up there. Okay, Sam. Sam, I'm asking you. Could that be the title card? No. <laughs>